Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming Sip and Style and we're gonna do a highly requested video. We're gonna go through my phone, you guys. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, girl, do all the things and we'll get right into it. Oh, that's easy. Okay, so my phone background, it actually was me and my husband for a long time. It was like a family photo. But whenever I started Sip and Style back, which if you don't know what Sip and Style is, girl, put your ear to the streets. Every Tuesday on Instagram Live, I do Sip and Style, so make sure you tune in. But whenever I started Sip and Style back again, I changed my background to a fashionista photo so I can like get in character. So this is my phone background. Who was the last person I called? Let's see. Okay, the last person I called was actually our security. We needed an extension cord to film this video, so he went to go grab that. And the last person to call me was my husband. He FaceTimed me. A picture of me wearing red. I'm gonna go to my favorites so we can get a good photo. I wear a lot of black. I'm just recently getting into color. Ooh, this photo, you guys, they were playing the last game of his rookie year. If you watch the video on how I met my husband, I talk about this game because we were just dating still and I let him fill on my booty for good luck for the game. And he scored his career high at the time. And I just like to attribute that to this red jumpsuit and me being the good luck charm. Ooh, okay, one of my notes. Okay, this is a recent note. I created this note on May 27th and it's our dream house. So we have a home in Atlanta and a home in LA, but we know they're both not our like forever home. So I was just kind of like dreaming and I was making a list of things that I want in our dream home. And I really got this idea because I remember being in college, fresh out of a breakup, and I just made a list on my iPad of everything I wanted in a man. And then I met my husband. Contavious is everything on that list except for one thing. And I just, I've been dealing with the one thing, but. <laughs> so here's the list, dream house. Six bedroom, walk-in closets, a man cave, a lady lounge, a pool, a basketball court, a gym, a kid's lounge, a large boutique style closet with an island, a glam room, studio, salon, theater, double island in the kitchen, an outdoor space that feels like indoors, land, a gate, a long driveway, a six car garage, a fire pit, an outdoor kitchen, and a living room in our bedroom. So I'm really not asking for too much, so hopefully we get it all. Oh boy. Last photo I <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not bad. This weekend I went to Dallas to celebrate my friend Kim. She just bought her first home, built it from the ground up, all by herself and no man. Do you guys ever have that friend that like does everything in order? I feel like my life is like this. <laughs> but she did everything in order, like went to school, got a good job, built a house, dating but has no kids. Like she's, she's like the blueprint. I love Kim. So anyways, I went to Dallas for a day, literally a day to celebrate her housewarming. And I sent Katavis this photo. It's me, my mom, my dad, and my sister. I I just love going home because I get to like be a daughter. I'm so used to like being a mom and a wife and like always on duty. And I just look like a big kid. I got to be a daughter. So I just sent him a picture and yeah. Okay, the last photo he sent me was, he was getting a tattoo. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen like the Easter photos we took in March. Just like me and the kids, Contavious was on the road for work. He got one of those photos tattooed on his leg. So this is a halfway finished portrait of his tattoo. This is before Kenzo got added, like right on top. And you guys, the photo looks just like my kids. I thought they were just like gonna come out. Oh gosh, y'all. I hope there's no nudes in here, y'all. Hold on. Okay, we're in the clear. I take like 100 million photos and then I hate all of them. So this is just a reel of all of the photos from last week's Sip and Style. Out of 100 of them, I hated about 98. So you guys got lucky. Or maybe I got lucky. <laughs> Most recently favorited photo. Okay. Oh my gosh, Contavious is gonna kill me. This is Contavious like fresh out of the shower. So here's the funny thing. Contavious has always had a clean cut. During quarantine, he grew his hair out. And I was like, boy, please do not grow your hair out. Like you do not know how to take care of your hair. He just needs easy, low maintenance. So he grew out his hair and he was like, I'm gonna show you the kids get their hair from me. The kids get their hair from me. All three of our kids have different textures of hair, but they all have curls, right? So I'm like, boy, your hair do not curl like, let it go. 
Now the man has curls. I think he has like a direct line to Jesus because a lot of the things that he says out of his mouth, I'm like, really? And then it just happens, I'm like, well, you really have curls. So I snapped this picture. You guys, I really have this cute mirror case. Funny story, so it's all scratched up because I was running with my phone. And y'all, when I say I tumbled down the hill and I literally somersaulted all the way down the hill, not all the way down, but like three times. And my phone just like slid across the concrete and so it's all scratched up. Anyways, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's keep going. Where are we? <laughs> my worst paparazzi photo. So this was like two weeks ago, I went to catch with my friends. We were gonna go to this kid's party, but it was on the wrong day. So we had got all the kids together, we met at my house, and we were going to the party on the wrong day. We were like, well, we all have beat faces, so let's just go do something. So we just had like a little Saturday fun day. The girls and I, we all went to catch, but we still had on chill vibes, right? So I ended up changing my shoes, but I was definitely not expecting to be photographed, and boom, he was there. So the guy that took the photo, he actually shot Contavious and I whenever we won the championship. So that's how I got familiar with him. So he sent them to me on Instagram and I was like, boy, do not post these if I don't look cute. He was real sweet and I was like, do not post them. And so he didn't and I was like, next time you see me out, like we gonna get some good shots, but please spare me. My most used apps are definitely Instagram. Instagram is so good because now not only are we like watching what our friends are doing every second of the day, I follow this really fun page called the LA Bucket List. That's how I find like cool places to take my kids or like restaurants and stuff. I think after that, Zillow. I love Zillow. Sometimes I just type in random cities just to see like where I would live if I lived in Virginia or like Chicago. Most searched on YouTube. Okay, my most searched on YouTube, you guys, is honestly whale videos. <laughs> At night, like I could fall asleep watching whale videos. It's just like so calming and so peaceful. They're just so interesting. They're so amazing. They're so big and powerful, but still like really sweet. There's also a really good documentary on Disney Plus. It's called Secrets of Whales, I think. I think I've watched it like three times. My favorite whale is the orca because they're black and white like me. I could watch whale videos on YouTube all day. All right, you guys, that was my going through my phone video. If you guys want a part two, let me know if you liked this video or if you didn't. Still hit the thumbs up, girl. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see next. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.